I can't stand Amy Klobuchar. I think that at this last debate, she was insufferable. But that being said, I can't stand Mayor Pete even more. And she decided to go after him. And this, as Kyle Kalinske put it, was the battle of the lightweights. So, um, enjoy. I look at this a different way. When we were in the last debate, Mayor, uh, you uh, basically mocked uh, the 100 years of experience on the stage. And what do I see on this stage? I see Elizabeth's work starting the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and helping 29 million people. I see the Vice President's work in getting uh, $2 billion for his cancer moonshot. I see Senator Sanders' work of working to get the veterans bill passed across the aisle. And I see what I've done, uh, which is to negotiate three farm bills and be someone that actually had major provisions put in those bills. So while you can dismiss committee hearings, I think this experience works. And I have not denigrated your experience as a local official. I have been one. You know, I just think you should I'm respect sorry. our experience when you look at how you evaluate someone who can get things done. Thank you, Senator. Mr. Mayor, I'll give you a chance to respond. You actually did denigrate my experience, Senator, and it was before the break, and I was going to let it go because we got bigger fish to fry here. But you implied that oh, I don't that think we have bigger fish to fry than picking a president of the United States. <laughs> You're right. And before the break, you seemed to imply that my relationship to the First Amendment was a talking point, as if anyone up here has any more or less commitment to the Constitution than anybody else up here. Let me tell you about my relationship to the First Amendment. It is part of the Constitution that I raised my right hand and swore to defend with my life. That is my experience, and it may not be the same as yours, but it counts, Senator. It counts. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Senator uh, Klobuchar, you have 45 been, seconds to respond. I certainly respect your military experience. That's not what this is about. This is about choosing a president. And I know uh, my view of this is I know you ran for to be chair of the Democratic National Committee. That's not something that I wanted to do. I want to be president of the United States. And the point is, we should have someone heading up this ticket that has actually won and been able to show that they can gather the support that you talk about of moderate Republicans and independents, as well as a fired up Democratic base. And not just done it once, I have done it three times. I think winning matters. I think a track record of getting things done matters. And I also think showing our party that we can actually bring people with us, have a wider tent, have a bigger coalition, and yes, longer coattails, that matters. Thank you, Senator. Oh, excuse me. I got to respond to that. I got to respond to that. No. Senator, I, I know that, that if you just go by vote totals, maybe what goes on in my city seems small to you. If you want to talk about the capacity to win, try putting together a coalition to bring you back to office with 80% of the vote as a gay dude in Mike Pence's Indiana. Yeah, that's my overall takeaway from that. <laughs> I mean, does anyone care about these two? I'm not really sure why I'm talking about them. Um, but hey, I guess that I really don't like the both of them. So if they're both going to kind of try to take each other out. Awesome. So she called him out for mocking their experience. And look, I really hate how she interrupted so many times throughout this debate. Um, interrupting isn't inherently bad. But if you're not going to make a good point, something that is valid or germane to the conversation, don't interrupt. Nonetheless, I am a hypocrite because I really loved <laughs> when he started talking and he said, we've got bigger fish to fry. And then she just cut him off and said, I don't think we have bigger fish to fry than picking the pres president of the United States. <laughs> She is bringing that Karen and let me speak to your manager energy and if it's directed at Mayor Pete I am absolutely living for it because in a battle between Amy Klobuchar and Mayor Pete um, This is a race to the bottom and I'm rooting for Amy Klobuchar all the way now um, He responded by basically feigning outrage his re reaction to her overall 
How dare you? I have military experience. <laughs> okay. So what does that have to do with the fact that you haven't won um, any type of statewide election before? You're the mayor of a city with 100,000 people and you won by getting 8,000 votes. Now, she tried to make that point after he just feigned outrage and tried to, you know, pander to people who are rah, rah, the troops are never wrong. But then um, how did he respond after she made the point that I just made? How dare you? I am gay. <laughs> She's like, shut the fuck up. The point is, you're trying to go up against Donald Trump, who's a fascist, and we kind of need someone who knows what they're doing. Not that Amy Klobuchar does, but you won with 8,000 votes. I don't care that you won in Mike Pence's state. You won with 8,000 votes. This video will probably get more than 8,000 votes. 8,000 views. <laughs> but if views were votes, I'd beat you probably. So I, I just... Look, these people are both insufferable, but I'm going to try to be objective here and determine who objectively, as much as you can be objective in these instances based on performance, got the better of this here. And I think that Amy Klobuchar probably got the better of this exchange because she actually did try to come up with a reason as to why his inexperience is going to hurt him. Now, I'm not someone who is going to concern troll about someone's lack of experience. I, I don't necessarily think that's make or break. However, do I believe that Pete Buttigieg has the correct experience needed to win the experience as an organizer, as an activist? No, I don't think that he does. Having mayoral experience, I mean, I guess it can be okay. Having military experience, I mean, I don't know. You're not really, you're in over your head, essentially, right? Um, when you look at hypothetical matchups between... 2020 Democrats and Donald Trump, excluding Mike Bloomberg, because I haven't seen the numbers for that yet, um, and I'm not sure that they're including him yet, but Mayor Pete fares the worst against Donald Trump. Even Kamala Harris does better than him. Now, that probably changed because she dropped out and they're not polling uh, on Kamala Harris, but he performs the worst. Uh, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, they all do better in head-to-head -head matchups than Mayor Pete. So what Amy Klobuchar is trying to say in a very annoying and insufferably Karen way is that maybe you're not the best bet to go up against Donald Trump when we kind of really need to defeat him currently. You're smug, you're elitist, you're corrupt, and people see that you're pretentious and you're going to turn off voters. Like, who are voters in the Rust Belt going to support, Mayor Pete or Donald Trump? I don't think they're going to support Mayor Pete. Hillary Clinton lost the Rust Belt, and she was, you know, the same type of individual like Pete. She did these fundraisers. She's elitist. She's pretentious, except that she actually does have the resume to be more pretentious, right? Like, I don't think that she was owed the nomination, but boasting about her experience, I mean, she was experienced. Nobody can deny that. But with you, you're a mayor, and you're acting like you're owed the presidency already, and you're entitled to it. No. So I think that Amy Klobuchar got the better of this exchange here, but it could just very well be that I, you know, I think that because I'm unable to escape my own anti-Pete bias because I really, I can't stand him. I absolutely can't stand him. And I don't like Amy Klobuchar at all. But when it comes between, you know, Amy Klobuchar and Mayor Pete, I'm going with Amy Klobuchar because she just is um, less annoying to me than he is at this point. Both of their policies are dog shit. But, you know, if their policies are comparable, then it's going to be about who I can stand to look at longer. And it's uh, Amy Klobuchar. Even though she ate salad with a comb, she's no Mayor Pete. He's way worse. Beta. 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 Beta.